Hey to all craft beer lovers. Yeah, it's time for that beer review once again. Tonight, we are taking a look at a beer, a special beer, I believe, and it's about time. We are going to Fuller's under the UK, well-respected, good brewery, good traditional brewery, doing a lot of good beers, and we're taking a look at this baby. A little bit late, <laughs> but then again, better late than never. We are taking a look at their 2019 edition Vintage Ale, limited edition. Uh, this is bottle number 016391, coming in at 8.5% ABV in a standard 500ml bottle. The usual Fuller style, nice traditional label and everything there. And that's the back, uh, what does it say? As with every vintage ale, this beer is brewed to mature over time. Bottle condition and natural sediment will form. Yeah, blah, 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 the, the usual. <coughs> there, oh, sorry. There we go, uh, best before 31st of December 2029. So, but then again, yeah. Uh, here's the uh, very, very nice box that came with it, of course, 2019, uh, very, very nice. Uh, placed a couple of uh, Fuller's boxes here. This is the 2020 Vintage Ale that I will do a review of later on. This one I reviewed last year, the, their Imperial Porter, which was absolutely cracking. Actually, one of the best Imperial Porters I've ever tried in my life. And I have this one to review as well, their Imperial Stout. Last year's version, I believe. So, but there we go, guys. Uh, better late than never. Let's give it a pop, see what we get then. Excited for this one then. There we go. There we go, good deal of smoke. And let's pour it so we can get a little bit of head on this one. Using a big glass, giving it a little bit of a good center pour. There we go. Stop right there for a second or two. Right. Oh, it smells lovely. So, there you go, guys. We have a little bit more beer left on the uh, bottom of the bottle. So, I'm going to give it a few shakes to get all that good sediment in there. Of course, there's a lot of flavors in it. Oh, perfect. Right about perfect. There we go. In view, guys, what do we have? We have approximately three fingers worth of an off-white head. Looks like a very, very nice beer. Look at that. Mahogany colored. Coppery mahogany colored. A little bit of haze to it. Doesn't that look pretty? I think it does. Let's get the aroma then. Ooh. Yeah, kind of a not nice, rich, malty, fudgy thing. Oh yeah, a lot of malts. Fudge, toffee, caramel, dark fruits, canned fruit, almost like a honey vibe to it. Yeah, definitely fruity. Little bit of a hop sensation on the nose as well. Little bit of a floral vibe, but... As we say, it's all in the taste, so let's dive in and see what we get. Cheers, everybody! Okay. So, okay, I didn't really expect that, to be, to be honest. I didn't expect those flavors. Mm. Let's go for a quick second one right away, before we start to dissect the beer. So, initially, uh, it's quite subdued, actually, flavor-wise. It doesn't really blow my palate out, out of the mouth. You got a multi sensation on the taste, but it's not big. And then suddenly you get a hit of a kind of a very floral, hoppy vibe. Long lingering, bitter. Got a little bit of bitterness at the back end, almost like a spicy bitterness actually. 
But it's, that's interesting because on the smell, I got a really, really good malty sensation. Really malt heavy. But it's not super malt heavy on the, uh, on the taste, weirdly enough. So, maybe, maybe a touch of citrus, a little bit of a toffee, fudgy vibe, but it's not big. I was expecting that really, almost like a syrupy richness to it, but it's not really there. Uh, the body is pretty nice, actually, but the flavors, those malty, big flavors, uh, aren't really there. There's almost kind of an oaky sensation to the beer as well. I don't know if it has been aged on oak barrels or something. I don't know. Um, there we go. Does it say? Uh, I don't know. Let's see if I can. Uh, no, so the only thing they're saying here is that uh, they have uh, been using some New Zealand hops, whitey hops, uh, and some crystal malts, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and their Fuller's yeast, their uh, kind of their own yeast strain. That's all they're saying. Okay, let's go for the final sip then. Mm. So for me, uh, didn't really expect this one. Actually, I was expecting some really heavy malty, rich malty, toffee, caramelly notes, uh, but it's not really there. It's smooth drinking, good deal of carbonation to it. It has a pretty good body, but I would say this is, for me, this is more hop dominated than it's actually malt dominated because it's a heavy, heavy bitterness to it, floral bitterness. You got a little bit of a kind of a toffee vibe to it. Uh, definitely bitter little bit of fruitiness, but it's more of that bitter hoppiness to it. For me, anyways. That's just my interpretation of this beer. Not a bad beer. Not a bad beer at all. But I was expecting a little bit more. Uh, for me, to sum it up then. Fuller's Vintage Ale. Uh, 2019 edition. Uh, alcohol, by the way. Uh, you do get a little bit of alcohol. Uh, as the beer has been a little bit warmed up as well. Uh... So a little bit of uh, alcohol touch to it, but not much. So it's not boozy in any sense of the word. Not boozy at all. But for me, it doesn't go all the way. And it didn't really live up to my expectations. But hey, there you go. Uh, still nice beer. And I'm looking forward to the uh, 2020 version to try and compare. For me, I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of 5. That was everything I had for today, guys. Feel free to chime in. What did you think of this version? Have you tried it? Have a good one, guys. See you next time.